one. Hey everyone, Roy Shepard here, and if it was that easy to die as it is portrayed in Hollywood movies and TV shows, I would honestly fear for the survival of the human race. We've seen many TV shows where people would die instantly from a gunshot, as if the bullet is the cause of death. Moreover, a lot of uh, people in, in uh, movies and TV shows have died by uh, falling down a, a flight of stairs. Or in a more sinister plot, they died by twisting their heads to the side and, you know, and simply died. Um, moreover, and even more concerning, is the amount of people that died by being smothered with a fluffy pillow. I feel that we have to set the record straight. Since so many people get their, um, derive their knowledge of human anatomy from TV shows and movies that they see, we have to understand what really happens in these type of situations. The human body is extremely, extremely resilient. And there are countless uh, cases where people not only survived horrendous accidents and attacks, but lived a normal life with either a bullet or even a metal rod lodged inside of their head. So in today's uh, video, we're going to talk about the five misconceptions that Hollywood has about human anatomy. This is an image of a person that got shot right in the, uh, in the face right by his nose and the bullet exited in the back of his head. Not only did he survive, but plastic surgeons were able to um, fix his disfigurement in his face completely. Myth one, and maybe the most popular one, is that gunshots cause death. The bullet causes death. And I have to disclose right off the bat that Bullets are not the cause of death. Blood loss is. In 99.9% .9 of the time, unless the bullet has completely obliterated a huge part of the brain, the cause of death is the loss of blood. A, an average person weighing 180, 180 pounds usually has about 1.5 gallons or 5.5 liters of blood in their body and they need most of it to survive, which means that they can lose up to almost half of that amount and still survive. Bullets cause puncture wounds, which basically is a hole that blood would just seep and leak out of it. Usually, if the, the bullet hits a random location on the body, it will, uh, the amount of blood leaking out would go from all the capillaries in, the, in, the, uh, in that area, which means that the uh, blood loss will take uh, a, lo a long time to uh, lose critical mass of blood. If the bullet uh, hits a vein, it will leak out uh, faster, and that will, will cause death in about 20 to 30 minutes. But if it was a, a, bad a, a bad luck and the, uh, the bullets penetrated and, and punctured a, a major artery, then first of all, we'll see it immediately by blood spraying out in high pressure. And the um, death may occur between two to four minutes. So a bullet wound that is not spraying blood out is manageable by pressure bandages or in worst case, a tourniquet. 
but definitely is not the cause of death and absolutely not immediate. One of the first things that a medic uh, in combat checks or a paramedic in, in a civilian uh, situation is if there is an exit wound on the uh, other side of the, the patient. And that is to determine if the bullet is still lodged inside there. And if it does, it is important to not flip the uh, casualty over or shake him too much. So the bullet itself would be kind of a cork and keep most of the blood in uh, until reaching a medical facility to minimize the amount of blood loss. Myth number two is kind of related to the first one that um, death is extremely clean and tidy, especially from a stabbing or a gunshot wound. Now we already dis disclosed in the first myth that we have to lose a lot of blood in order to, uh, to have the risk of death, which means that um, it is extremely, extremely, extremely messy. In fact, in combat hospitals, it is so messy that there are nurses that their full job all the time is cleaning and um, wiping the floors from all the blood so that the medical staff doesn't slip and fall in a critical moment. Myth number three is pretty popular that if your neck is twisted to the side, you die instantly. And if that were true, we as a species would be in risk of death every time we look quickly to the side, to the left or the right, which is absurd. And our neck is able to twist a lot more than our, mu our muscles are able to do it naturally. Some people are born with uh, flexible uh, muscles and joints and they can twist their heads almost 180 degrees. It takes a lot of uh, force to twist the head so much to separate the vertebrates, to break the neck and to uh, sever the, uh, um, the spinal cord. And that is why the military teaches um, to do a blood choke instead of twisting the head to the side. Myth number four is instant death if you fall down a flight of stairs. Bear Grylls, one of my favorite survival experts, has not only that he did not fall from a flight of stairs, but he fell from an airplane. His parachute and his backup parachute uh, were tangled and did not open properly on the, during the descent. He fell to the ground, bounced a little, and basically broke his entire back. He survived, but the doctors told him that he will never walk again. Relentless as he is, not only did he uh, recuperate from the injury, but 18 months later, he proved all of them wrong and climbed Mount Everest. And there are countless other stories and cases of people surviving and thriving after taking a great fall. Myth number five is, for me, the funniest one, which is being smothered, which is being smothered by a fluffy pillow which will cause death. This is for me the most funny because a pillow, fluffy or otherwise, is um, spacious enough inside that allows enough airflow for breathing. So basically, uh, putting a pillow over, over someone's head will cause nothing. Moreover, the person who is being smothered is still has both of their arms and usually their legs, while the other person be doing the smothering will put all of his weight and force on, on the front, which means that the, the victim here can simply lift his pelvis using his legs nudge them strongly enough and the smotherer will be flying uh, over the, the victim's head pretty easily. This killing method has been popularized in the golden age of cinema, so to not give ideas to people to use at home. To sum up, Hollywood doesn't really understand human anatomy, and we shouldn't take our uh, pointers for survival from movies and TV shows. Some of them, of those myths, are done on purpose. Others are done by the writers not knowing how it really works. And sometimes it's just, it just looks better on camera. It looks better, more dramatic and, and more 
um, um, and more aesthetic on, on camera, but it doesn't work like that in real life. We have, for survival, we have to learn human anatomy correctly and know what happens and what to do in each type of scenario. Which Hollywood myth do you find most misleading and why? Please share your thoughts with us. I love getting feedback from you and I read each and every one of your messages. If you liked this video and found it useful, please like, subscribe and share this video. Help us spread the word. I can't wait to share our next video with you. So until then, stay safe. So what started this idea is I saw this TV show the other day and the woman there, she shot uh, a, another woman in, in, in front of her. She was maybe, I don't know, maybe two meters in front of her. And she shot her with a Beretta, a nine millimeter round, probably Parabellum, and it, it should have gone through right away. Basically this woman collapsed.